Hello and welcome to this edition of C++ for Absolute Beginners. Today we're going to be learning how to use Visual Studio Express and making our first Hello World program. Now if you haven't already installed Microsoft Visual Studio, uh, please refer to Tutorial 1 on how to do that. So to get started, let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio. And we're going to get this screen here. Now the first thing we want to do is go to File, New, project and then go down and we make sure that this Windows 32 console application is selected and then you can go ahead and name it uh, I'm just gonna name mine tutorial one and select OK now you're gonna get this pop-up window here um, don't click finish instead we wanna click next and then we want to make sure the checkbox empty project is selected. Now we're ready to hit finish. Now go over to the side panel here on the left and you can see it created these folders here and right click on source fo files and go to add new item and make sure you add a C++, C++ file and I'm just going to name mine hello world and click add and as you can see it's been added to the source files folder and it's given us this area where we can write some code so let's go ahead and get started on our program the first thing we're going to want to put in our program is what's called a preprocessor directive and what that looks like is pound sign include less than bracket io stream greater than bracket and what this does is just includes a file so that we can have output in our program. The, the IO and IO stream is short for input and output. So this is a C++ file that already exists and it contains C out for output and C in for input. And, and we have to use pound sign include to say that we want to access this file. So pound sign include can also be used to access other C++ plus files and we'll learn about this later and the next thing we're going to want to put is using namespace std short for standard semicolon you have to have that semicolon there I'll explain that later as well now what I'm not going to explain right now is using namespace standard right now if I were to explain that it would probably go over your head so we're just gonna skip over that for right now and move on so just know we have to have these two things at the beginning of our C++ program for our purposes. Now the next thing we want to do is make a main function that will tell the computer this is where our main code is going to be. So that'll look like int main open parentheses close parentheses and then go ahead and start a new line with the open curly brace and then go down and close uh, with a closing curly brace and so within those curly braces is where our main code is going to be that we want to execute and then we also have the int main above that with the parentheses I'll explain that later just know that you have to have that int main there but again where these curly bra braces are that's where our main uh, code is going to be so let's go ahead and get started uh, say we want to print out hello world so that's going to look like c out less than less than sign and then a uh, quotation hello world and then close that quotation and then a semicolon don't forget that semicolon I'll explain what this means um, but first let's go ahead and execute this so we can make sure that everything's working and let's go ahead and hit that start without debugging button that we added the other day and what it's telling me is that it hasn't been compiled yet so it's asking me if I'd like to compile it so I'm going to go ahead and hit yes now what this is doing is it's taking our code and changing it in a machine language so that the computer understands it so it's compiling it right now as you can see it succeeded so that's good and it opened up this dialog box, this uh, command prompt. So it, right here we can see hello world and that's exactly what we wanted it to do. We wanted it to print hello world so we can go ahead and exit out of this here. Now let me explain what's going on here. So this C out, that's, that says that we want to output um, to the screen and then we have to have 
this less than less than which is called the insertion operator that's gonna output to the screen so we have to have that uh, immediately after the C out and then we have this quote this string here or sentence that says hello world that's what we want to output to the screen and then we have the semicolon that says we're done we're done with this statement and we have to have that otherwise that'll give us an error so to demonstrate further uh, of, of the semicolon so say we want to go ahead and print how are you after hello world so we'll go ahead and again put C out and then remember we have to have the less than less than right after that and we're gonna start a new sentence how are you today and don't don't forget to uh, close the quotation mark as you can see it's giving me an error there and so that semicolon says okay we're done with this statement and we're going to go ahead and run it uh, and I'm gonna click here so th clicking this is gonna make it to where it just automatically compiles whenever I hit that button and it successfully built hello world how are you today and so th that's exactly what we wanted it to print and we just wrote our first program in C++ and that concludes this tutorial